Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Fry, Re Fry Free Reading Room uh, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I'm so glad you're here today with us. I hope mommies and daddies and nannies uh, will join in with the program and encourage your child to participate, giving this program the optimum amount of benefit. So here we go. <clears throat> the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Let's see those smiles. Hmm? Do you smile? Good. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I have a creek out in the back, and those little ducks are starting to hatch out there, and their parents are very, very careful of them. And there are five of them. There they are. Whoops, this one's sort of falling away here. What's going on? There we are. <clears throat> Five little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far, far away. A mommy duck said, quack, quack, quack. Four little ducks came swimming back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far, far away. Ella duck said, quack, quack, quack. Three little ducks came swimming back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far, far away. Rosie duck said quack, quack, quack. Two little ducks came swimming back. <coughs> Two little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far, far away. Michael duck said quack, quack, quack. One little duck came swimming back. One little duck went swimming one day over and under and far, far away. William duck said, whack, 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 whack. No little ducks came swimming back. No little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far, far away. Daddy duck said, whack, whack, whack. Five little ducks came swimming back. That's the old version, but we have to change it up to make it politically correct, don't we? Yeah, every once in a while I'll change it up. But I'll go back to daddy once in a while, sure. Well, my goodness me, I see a sign here. It says Z O O. What do you think that spells? That spells zoo. And what is a zoo? That's where all the animals are, right? And there must be a pond if there are ducks, right? And I see one, two, three frogs. And this is a frog. And what did we say last week? They have long sticky tongues that they shoot out to catch their dinner. And this little frog caught a fly. Zip. And they're sticky like glue. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Can you do that like a little tongue? Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Two green speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glug, glug. One green speckled frog sat on the speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. <clears throat> now there are no green speckled frogs. Ooh, ooh. Are they there? Oh, they're there. They're under the water and you can't see them. They just look just like the lily pads of, or the algae underneath all the plants. They're right there and you're looking right at them <clears throat> and they're very camouflaged. Yes, they are. Well, this is a zoo. <clears throat> so let's get some of these animals back up here, shall we? There we go. <clears throat> Before we have our I'm sorry. 
before we have our first story, we have a tip for the day for our caregivers. And this is Wizzy Wizard. Wizzy, do you have a tip for us today? Oh, yes, Granny Jean. You don't need an alphabet book to talk about letters. With any book you and your child are reading together, um, let your child look for the first letter of his name or any of the letters of his name or any letter, you know, talking about it um, uh, while you're reading the book or after you're reading the book. Probably the second time around, third time around. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Now, you all must know this book, right? But it's fun to do it again and again and again. Dear Zoo by Roy Campbell. I see a big red cage, don't you? Sort of a crate, right? And I see some animals sticking out of that crate. Oh my. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. <clears throat> they sent me, <clears throat> what? One big yellow box that says, very heavy. It has holes so the animal can breathe. I wonder what it is. Do you remember? Huh? It is, it was an elephant. Oh, I sent him back. He was too heavy. Oh my goodness, he was too big. So they sent me a little green box, a tall green box, it's not so little, but it has holes in it. So I know the animals in there to breathe. Let's see what's in it. Oh, a giraffe. He was too tall. So I sent him back. So they sent me a red crate that says danger from the zoo. Oh, what is that? Oh, they sent me a lion. Oh, he was too fierce. I sent him back. So they sent me a crate with two doors and a window. Handle with care. And it was a camel. He was too grumpy. Ah. Sent him back. So they sent me ah, a straw basket. But he was too scary. What is that? It's a snake. So I sent him back. So they sent me a little yellow box. Something's peeking out of it. It's a monkey. He was too naughty. So I had to send him back. Mm -hmm. oh. So they sent me a little pink box with holes so the animal can breathe. But he was too jumpy. So I sent him back. So they thought very hard and sent me a little carry-all. And it says, from <clears throat> your good buddies at the zoo, uh, it was a puppy. He was perfect. I kept him. Dear zoo by Rod Campbell. <clears throat> well, daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow and we can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Ha. See all the monkeys scritch, scritch, scratching, jumping all around and scritch, scritch, scratching. Oh, hanging by the long tail, scritch, scritch, scratching. We're going to stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? 
You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. See the brown bear, he's a huff, huff, a puffin. Coat's too hot, he's a huff, huff, a puffin. Better stay away from the huff, huff, a puffin, or you won't stay all day. <laughs> Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. And we are gonna stay all day. See the kangaroo, she's a hop, hop, hopping. Long, but <clears throat> big, long tail is a flop, flop, flopping. Joey in the pouch is a bob, bob, bobbing. We're gonna stay all day. <clears throat> We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Oh my goodness me, what do we have here? This is a toy that we used to have when I was a little girl. You'd crank it and it usually played Pop Goes the Weasel. And then when you said Pop, up jumped the Jack in the Box, right? So it's a Jack in the Box. And pretend you're the Jack in the Box, all scrunched down inside that box. Can you get down there? Huh? Jack in the Box, all shut up tight. Not a breath of air, not a ray of light. How tired he must be all down in a heap. You lift the lid and <laughs> he'll leap. Hello, everybody. Can you do that? Pretend you're the jack in the box. Jack in the box, all shut up tight. Not a breath of air, not a ray of light. How tired he must be all down in a heap. You lift the lid and Whoops, uphill leap. There he is. <clears throat> well, I have a book, and it's a pop up book too. And it's about numbers. What are numbers? Well, that they tell stories. They tell how many, like five little ducks. Three little frogs, right? Five little ducks, three little frogs. That tells a story, right? So here are your numbers from one to 10. And it's snappy little numbers, right? <clears throat> and the book uh, is written, because uh, I've forgotten. <laughs> ah, Carolyn Ray Chuck. Sorry, sorry. It's not, it's not printed on the cover here. I forgot about that. So snappy little numbers. Let's see. Oh, what is that? Ah. That's a frog. And what does he have on the end of his tongue? He has a fly too, right? So here we go. It's hard to read um, <clears throat> this book so that you can see the pictures at the same time because uh, when I look at the screen, it's, they're all backwards. Little frog is ready to eat his dinner quick. He catches one fly with his tongue. Flick, flick, flick. Right, there he is. That's one. Can you hold up one finger? Now, this is an elephant, right? <clears throat> elephant is busy as she gives herself a wash. She swings her trunk between two tusks. Here they are, one, two. See? One, two, those are big teeth that are growing on the outside. Ah. Splish, splash, splosh. It's two. Are you two? Huh? Ah, this is a bird. He's a big bird. Here's a crafty pelican catching little fish. He traps three in his big long beak. Splish, splash, splish. You see the three? One, two, three. One, two, three. <clears throat> ah. A monkey swings from branch to branch looking for some lunch. He found four ripe bananas. He can munch, munch, munch. And I see three, one, two, three, four. Right? <clears throat> it won't count anymore. They just get too, too busy here. Let's see. Oh, what is that? A whale. A whale is chasing seahorses, having a bit, lots of trouble. Count the five that duck and dive. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Those are little seahorses. 
They're fish too. <clears throat> ah, here's a playful puppy. She's a hungry puppy too. Hunt and find six bones for her to chew, chew, chew. Do you see all those bones? One, two, three, four, five. Where's the sixth one? I've lost it somewhere there. <laughs> Six. <clears throat> oh, oh, he's a sleepy lion. Look, Ooh, he's closing and shutting, opening and shutting his eyes. Look. There are seven whiskers under lion's shiny nose. Can you count all seven? while his sleepy eyes closed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There he goes. Night, night. Ah, <clears throat> here's a happy hippo playing uh, in the swamp. Count his eight big teeth as they go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And he has eight teeth. Look at all those teeth. Ah, look at that hungry rabbit. What's he eating? Bunny just loves carrots. She eats them by the bunch. Ah, at dinner time, as she eats all nine. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, look, nine carrots. Woo! Who is that? Oh, <clears throat> here's a hungry crocodile. But eating makes him happy. Eating makes him happy. Count his teeth from one to ten, but you'd better nay make it snappy. Right. So if you have five fingers and here's five, now you have ten fingers, just like the crocodile's teeth. Right. So there we are, snappy little numbers. <coughs> that book probably is out of print. I'm sorry to say. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh. My goodness me. Well, if I go to the zoo, I hope I can see a giraffe. He's one of my favorite animals. Yes, he is. Yesterday I had to laugh because I saw a big giraffe. He had a neck so very tight. It reached way up into the sky. Can you pretend you're a giraffe? Oh, like that. Yesterday I had a laugh because I saw a big giraffe. He had a neck so very high. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It reached way up into the sky. Oh my goodness. Let me do that one again. Yesterday I had to laugh because I saw a big giraffe. He had a neck so very high. It reached way up into the sky. Now that's better. Ah, Granny Jane, good grief. Well, at that zoo, <clears throat> there are probably all sorts of little creatures, don't you think? I think there might be some mice eating up some of the, some of the food there that gets spilled out of the troughs, I think so. So there's a little mouse. And probably on the plants, since they don't spray, I'm sure. There might be a little snail. What do you think? What is a snail? There we go. Some of them live in the ocean, but some live in the gardens, right? And there they are. There's a little snail. He has a shell. He's kind of a squishy little fellow <clears throat> without it. So here we go. Pretend you have a snail. Creeping creep. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, round about the house. It's a great little tickly game when you're um, addressing your kids and uh, distracting them from the ordeal. So here we go. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly round them up the house. A great little tickly game. Yes, it is. But <coughs> well, good grief. What do we have here? We have an old song. 
<coughs> excuse me, Animal Fair. And it's adapted and illustrated by Ponder Gombo. Yeah. And there are the animals at the Animal Fair. A little bit different, almost like a circus. Yeah, I think it's almost like a circus. I'll take this cover off. <clears throat> and there are tents, small tents. Yeah, small. I went to the animal fair, the birds and beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon is combing his auburn hair. The seals sang silly tunes while blowing up big pink balloons. The kangaroos had nothing to do but rattle six silver spoons. <laughs> That's part of a little musical band when you play the spoons. The two cans in the trees were watching the chimpanzee. What is a chimpanzee? And the monkey, there he is. The chimps were shy. <clears throat> they covered their eyes and swung on the high trapeze. Look at that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. The bears came down the stairs while juggling purple pears. Look at that, purple pears. Yeah, they were all purple pears. The parrots squawked, they chattered and talked, and they stood on the back of the chairs. There they are. Ah, there's the elephant. Next came the mischievous monk. He jumped on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. Ooh. And that was the end of a monk, the monk, the monk, and that was the end of a monk. I guess he flew right out of that tent, didn't he? But knowing monkeys, they land on their feet and they're very smart little guys too, yeah. But sometimes they don't listen to their mommies. They never learn, no. And these five monkeys mm -mm -mm, just don't, don't ever learn. Five little monkeys swinging in the trees, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Okay, Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be and stop. Four little monkeys. He's swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and stop. Three little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and stop. Two little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. Well, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and stop. One little monkey swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. Can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and No more monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing's not nice. Oh, you naughty monkeys, I'm gonna have to rescue you again. Oh, come on, open up your mouth, open up your mouth and give me those monkeys back. Now, they never learn their lesson, never learn. Mm -mm -mm. What are we gonna do with them? I don't know. Well, here's an old favorite, a little bit modified. <clears throat> rub a dub dub three men in a tub and who do you think they be the butcher the baker the candlestick maker ah helpers they are all three
Why do I say they're helpers? Well, the butcher cuts the meat. The butcher cuts the meat. Hi ho the dairy, oh the butcher cuts the meat, and the baker bakes the bread. The baker bakes the bread. Hi ho the dairy, oh the baker bakes the bread, and the candlestick maker makes the light. The candlestick maker makes the light. Hi ho the dairy, oh the candlestick maker makes the light. Well, maybe that's Canada's. Kind of huh? Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Helpers, they are all three. How many? One, two, three. This was a good lesson on numbers, wasn't it? And numbers tell a story. And what do the numbers say? How many? Right. right. <clears throat> well, I do think it's time for our bye-bye song. So let's say bye-bye to the little kangaroo and bye-bye to his mommy too. He's a joey. He's a joey. Yeah, and he has a little pouch that she has in her tummy that he can just hop in, even when he's two years old, right? <laughs> yeah, and bye-bye to the jack-in-the-box. Bye-bye, everybody. And bye-bye to the monkeys, then the bear, and bye-bye to our giraffe, too. Bye-bye to Granny Jean, it's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to all my friends and bye-bye to all the caregivers. And caregivers, you are so important, so important in that child's life. Um, thank you for all your hard work. I know it's hard. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>